So I have shown you my coffee cave before, you guys. I'm still up here. Haven't done a whole lot with the uh, decor in here. Haven't changed it from what it was. But um, here it is. And I still come in here and play once in a while. Uh, love it in here. But there's one cabinet in here that I play a little more than most. And this is one of them. This is the uh, Pac-Man Arcade 1-Up Legacy Edition. I love this cabinet. Now this is not the current one that's out. This is last generation. They they upgraded this, I think last month with Wi-Fi and online play. Um, this one I think you can get now for about 450. Um, I got a really good deal on it at the time. So this is definitely one I play all the time. I love the little faux arcade um, coin door there and the riser, the red outline there. It looks really nice. So I do find myself playing this one a lot. Um, as you can see, it's got 12 great Namco games on this. Uh, we got uh, lots to play here, so stick with me. And I'm going to show you an overview of this great cabinet and I give you my final rating. All right, stay tuned. Welcome back, you guys. So this episode, I'm gonna be talking about my Pac-Man Arcade 1-Up Legacy Edition. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, it's got great control deck here. Very kind of um, much like the arcade game. There is an on-off switch there and a volume button. It does get pretty loud, which I love. So it's got the, the standard buttons and it's got the joystick and you know what you come to expect. I love the sides here. You might not be able to see that very much in this lighting, but um, it's got the arcade uh, stuff on the side there from the arcade game. Uh, yeah, but this is great. Now, if you leave it alone like I did, it'll automatically start at Pac-Man and go to the control screen there, which is nice. I love playing Pac-Man, by the way. It's fantastic on this cabinet. Um, got a pretty high score up there from playing this uh, now and then, so. <laughs> It's just great. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Pac-Man, right? It's such an iconic game. Just like Miss Pac-Man in my last episode that I reviewed, uh, that party cage. I love this full-size cabinet. It's wonderful. Um, you know, no regrets at all about purchasing this. I turn the volume down a little bit. So it was just a blast from my childhood, you know. I played this all the time growing up. Um, Putt Putt at birthday parties at Chuck E. Cheese at arcade uh, halls, just all over the place, you know. Um, love it. So, um, this is very um, arcade authentic. I think it's just the arcade ROM. I love to play this. I can get lost playing this game. Um, just come in here and blow some stress, you know, um, as one does. But just a great game. Um, so, let me know what you think down below about Pac Man there. So someone commented in my party cade video I did last episode that you can hold down two buttons to get to the main screen. Uh, my problem is with that is I am using both hands to hold this phone right now. So let me see if I can do that. I don't think I can. So what I am gonna do is just turn off, turn it back on so I can waste all kinds of time just sitting there. But um, I love the lit up marquee there. Uh, it's just great. Um, I heard a lot of people say it was kind of spotty with the lighting. I, th I think it's just fine. I think people are just being nitpicky. Um, I love the intro screen there. It was made just for this game. Love that. I also love the little faux arcane, uh, sorry, coin door um, that you see there. I, I don't know why I'm saying arcane. I have no, no clue. I'm just fumbling over my words today. But I just want to show you, this comes with Pac-Man, Pac-and-Pal, Super Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, Pac-Land, 
Pac-Man Plus. It definitely has an overdose of Pac-Man, which is one of my favorite arcade games of all time. Fine with that. Uh, Galaga, Galaxian, the original Galaga. Mappy, Rompers, Dig Dug 2, and Dig Dug. Now my Ms. Pac-Man Partycade, it came with Pac and Pal from this selection. It came with Mappy, and Dig Dug, and Rompers. So there are some games that cross over to this as well. But like I said, this is full, a full size. Um, my line of vision is about here. So, you know, um, it's not full size, but um, it's, it's just fine. You know, I've got these stools in here I can sit on. Um, so it's just fine. So I do love all these games. They are so fun. So um, I'm gonna um, check out some more of these for you. So stay tuned. So we are at Pack and Pal here. I just let it um, kind of go to the screen on its own. This shows the layout of the controls, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so let's start Pack and Pal. Now this, um, a lot of people kind of know this to be um, a sequel to Pac-Man. Um, I'm not sure if it's the second or third or what, but um, came out in 83 by uh, Bandai Namco. Um, it's not one of my favorites, but you know, it's kind of grown on me um, on its own. It's kind of nothing like Pac-Man, but in a way that's a little refreshing to me, just something different to play, right? So in this game, I kind of talked about it last time, but that little green guy there, um, he walks around and steals your little items and takes them back to the uh, ghost box there in the middle. And um, you basically have to catch him. You can also use power-ups like this is doing here that you'll, you'll capture to stun the ghosts, um, which is nice. Um, I, there's no way for me to play this right now to show you this, so I'll just show you the demo, which kind of explains everything. Um, so once you clear every screen, you start a new screen. There are new items. Uh, a lot of them are, are the same as you see here, just kind of randomly thrown around. Um, but it's a fun game. It's really hard to score high in this game to me. I did get like 30,000 points, I think. But um, it, it's fun. I actually do like it. It's not my favorite version of Pac-Man, but on its own, um, I, th I think it's just fine. So let's go ahead and start here. I'm gonna show you a little bit, like I kind of did last time, with one hand. <laughs> see, he's got my cherry, I'm gonna get it. So, so see, now I have that, I can stun, I can stun the ghost, see? Like I did there, whoops, as I die. So um, just a really fun game. Uh, I do like it, not bad at all. I can stun some of the ghosts here. Now, if, if you stun all the ghosts, I think you get an extra guy or something. So yeah, that's how you do that. <laughs> um, it's it's not bad. So let me know uh, below what you think of Pack and Pal. So if you just hold down the one player button, it takes you back to the home screen. I think all the RK one ups are like that. I just didn't realize last time I was, or I forgot last time I was doing my review of the Ms. Pac-Man Partycade Plus. Um, but yeah, just hold down the one player button and it takes you back to the front screen. So Super Pac-Man is a game I've, I've, I've played quite a bit. Um, I love Super Pac-Man. It's kind of uh, a, more advanced version of Pac-Man, in my opinion. It's way more sped up, you know. Let's go ahead and get started here. So a little bit like Pac and Pal. I do like playing this game a lot. Um, more so than Pack and Pal. It's just a little more fr frenzied, which I, and you can also go in the ghost box and get guys. <laughs> um, very fun game. I really like it. This one has grown on me for sure. Let me know down below what you think of Super Pac-Man. I do have the Super Pac-Man countercade in my bit lounge. And um, yeah, I do play this one quite a bit. It's fun to me. Let me know what you think. So 
so here we are we're going to pac-man plus here <clears throat> and this is a game i play quite a bit too it's kind of like pac-man on steroids <laughs> um there's like a coke can for one of the power-ups it's just a lot it's a much faster version of pac-man which is fun see the coke can down there is the one you get in this one and there's always a ghost that doesn't turn blue the ghost also become invisible in this version so it's kind of a little higher challenge you know turn the volume down some a little loud um so this cabinet does get really loud which, which is one thing i love about it um i mean you, you'll definitely hear all the sounds there's no gonna be no straining of the ears you know <laughs> but um great game i love it So I'm just going to pull this down to go to the main menu again. I should have shown you this in my last video. My apologies. I was just blanking out, I guess. So it was Pac-Man Plus. Let's go to Pac-Land. Pac-Land um, is definitely, um, I think this is considered Pac-Man 3 or Pac-Man 4, maybe after Miss Pac-Man. Um, this features Pac-Man's uh, and Mrs. Pac-Man's uh, Let's see. A little, they're a little adventures. Um, this is kind of based on the cartoon series, from my understanding, in the 80s, which I watched as a kid. You want to get those cherries to, to get power-ups and eat the ghosts, but it's hard to do playing with one hand. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is also on the Atari Lynx, uh, which is interesting. I got the game drive recently and played it, and it's, it's pretty fun. Like a little Pac-Man platformer. They were trying to redo the formula a little bit. Um... I think um, I'm not a huge fan of this game because it, it can get kind of dull after a while, in my opinion. But um, it's definitely a cool experience, um, cool for the collection. These little guys will come along and drop these little tiny ghosts that will try to stop you. There's a power pellet, so you can eat the ghosts, obviously. And just make it to the end of this level. Great time. So that is Pac-Land. Let me know what you think about this one. So let's hold down that button, go to the main screen. That's so much easier. I can't believe I forgot that. So next we're going to Pac-Mania. Now this is a game I played on my PC, I think back in the day. I remember playing this on my computer. Um, it's definitely a different take on Pac-Man. Kind of 3D, 3D a little bit. You're in Block Town in this version. You can also jump like that and you can jump over ghosts, which is kind of cool. I do love this version of Pac-Man. Um, it's fun. I like, how, like I said, like like how you can jump over the ghosts whenever they turn. You know, whenever you can't eat them anymore. A lot of fun. So let me know what you think about this game, you guys. Um, I think it was also called something else, maybe. I'm not sure if it was called Pac-Man Arrangement, or I think it was called something else. I'm not sure. It seems like other games I've played, too. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. So let's hold down that button there and go back to the main screen. The one-player button. So next we've got Galaga, which I, I mean, I spent many hours my childhood playing Galaga. I love Galaga. Such a great game. I do think it's better than Galaxian because I, I grew up with Galaga in the arcades. Um, super fun game. Love it. Um, there's not a whole lot more to say other than it's a fantastic game. This is the arcade port, so it's great. I'm not playing my best here because I'm using one hand and finger. But um, yeah, it's great. Um, no problems at all. Let me know what you think about this one. Whoops. So let's hold down that player one button, go to the main screen. So back here, let's go to Galaxian. Now this is the first um, Galaga, pretty much. Galaga was a sequel of Galaxian. And a little more basic. I do love the sounds though in this game. I have this turned down a lot, but this gets really loud. Um, so 
the sound on this works extremely well. No problems at all with it. I do like this game on the Atari 5200 as well. Um, I think I talked about that in um, RTFM, or I will. I know that I've talked about it somewhere. But let me know what you think about Galaxian. It's a classic game from back in the day that um, yeah, I, I, I think is kind of misunderstood. Uh, kind of sits in Galaga's shadow, which is interesting. The sequel was more popular than this game, but anyway, here it is. So let's hold down the player one button. Go back to the main menu. So now let's go to Mappy. Now, Mappy um, is also on my Ms. Pac-Man party cade, as you saw last episode, if you saw that. Same game here. I do like to play on here a little um, more because, like I said, the sounds are much more rich and loud than on that party cade. Nothing wrong with the party cade. But um, you just got more screen real estate here. And uh, yeah, who doesn't love Mappy? I mean, it, it's a cool game. I love it. I, I remember playing this at Putt Putt when I was a kid. I'm going to get to that second story. Um, yeah, fun game. Now, the, the uh, Miss Pac-Man... Party Kate also has the has Hopping Mappy, which is the sequel, whereas this does not. So let's hold down that button again. Go back to the main screen. And now we're going on to Rompers. Rompers was actually on the Miss Pac-Man uh, Party Cade Plus as well. Um, it's a you know it's a cool game. I never played it before, like I said last time. Um, I really do find it to be fun, though. It's 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 a it's a refreshing game from Namco. I've never played until now. Um, I'm glad they put it on these machines. A lot of fun. So you're gonna knock over these, like I showed you last time. Of course, I play better when I'm using both hands, and you get points for killing everybody there. So yeah, fun game. Let me know what you guys think about Rompers. I think it's very underrated. So let's hold down this, go back to the main menu. Okay, and we're gonna go over to Dig Dug. Now this was also on the Miss Pac-Man uh, Party Cade. Um, I really just got the Miss Pac-Man Party Cade because it was like 120 bucks. This, this machine here cost me a little over 400 at the time. Um, and I just had to have it. Um, I did do some trades to help facilitate the buying of that um, when I bought it locally at Best Buy, I think. Um, fantastic game. Got so many childhood memories of this game. It's, it, it's so fun. Love it. Who doesn't love some Dig Dug? Anyway, that's Dig Dug. There's my high score, 53,060 points. Crazy, huh? So, let me go back here. So, I'm just wanna show you the last game here, Dig Dug 2. I do remember this as a kid on the NES. I would rent this all the time because it was the only game you could rent sometimes from Blockbuster. Um, and uh, it's an interesting take on Dig Dug. You basically still have the little pump where you can blow the people up. But you can also, these guys are more tricky in this version. You can also cut the ground away like so, which can be a little dangerous. <laughs> and I can't play it to the fullest of my abilities right now. But I just want to show you some of the gameplay. Um, it's, a, it's a fun game. It's definitely the same kind of theme and characters and yeah, really interesting sequel. Um, I love the original, obviously, more than this, but, um, yeah, it's, let me know what you think down below. So, overall, you guys, this is my favorite RK1 of Cadman. I love it. As a Pac-Man fanatic, it's got everything on here you could ever want, plus, plus some, and, and, and I also love Galaga and Galaxian and, and uh, Dig Dug and Mappy, so, and then Rompers being a new game I never played before, um, it's great. Let me know what you think down below. 
um, if you like the little faux coin door. Um, it's also got some great art on the side. I can't show you all of it, how it's positioned, but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty darn great. I love it. So let me know what you think. Um, if you would get this cabinet, it's probably on sale now because they do have a, a updated version out with Wi-Fi and online meter boards. So overall, I would have to say that the Pac-Man Arcade 1UP Legacy Edition cabinet is a definite must-buy for anyone that loves Pac-Man, like myself, um, and Namco games in general. Now, this, this does have a lot of Namco games. Um, of course, it doesn't have Tower of Draga, stuff like that. But it's got all my favorites, um, Dig Dug, Galaga, and Pac-Man. And, and Mappy are pretty much favorites in my book. Um, and this has a lot of Pac-Man games I've never played in my life, um, such as, well, Pac and Pal, haven't played it a lot. Uh, Super Pac-Man, a Pac-Man Plus, uh, they're great to have. Uh, Pac-Land, haven't played a whole lot, so it's good to have it here. And Pac-Mania, I mean, it just kind of tips it over the edge for me. So if you like Pac-Man like myself, um, I think this is a pretty great cabinet. Um, now, I did get it for a good deal. I think you can get these now for $450 or so from even the website. Or you can also find these at Walmart and uh, different retailers. Um, uh, Walmart's probably the main retailer I've seen that have these. And they often have deals. Now, you won't find them online. You have to go into the store and actually scan the barcode or have the person scan it to see what price it is sometimes from my understanding. But this this cabinet to me, um, I probably find myself playing Pac-Man Plus a lot, just because it's a version of Pac-Man I've never really played before. And it's fun, it's frantic, it's got something new and fresh to me for Pac-Man. And yes, it does still have the inherent Pac-Man qualities. It's basically a regular Pac-Man game. But it's got a lot of add-ons. It's a lot faster. Um, there are different elements to, elements to the game that I really like, such as the ghost disappearing when you get the Coke can. I think that's kind of cool. Um, and overall, I have to say this is, like I said, my favorite of all, all the cabinets I have in here. Um, when I play this game, I'm just taken back to 1983 to that putt-putt, you know. <laughs> where we had all those birthdays and see so like right here they become invisible and adds just a little bit more difficulty to the game uh, the power pellets don't last as long and there are some different power ups like there's a mint leaf after the coke can I believe um, but it's just such a fun game to me I just love playing this one so um and again, you hold down the player one to go back to the main menu. Thank you to that member for reminding me of that in my last arcade point of review last week. But um, yeah, um, I definitely have to give this cabinet an A+. It's, it's pretty darn great. From the light-up marquee to the iconic control panel, um, it's this... The height of this is probably, probably half a foot less taller than I am, which is fine. I can stand and play it just fine. I'm not, my neck doesn't hurt from looking down. I do have stools in here and a little Pac-Man coaster from Free Play, where I did my arcade crawl a few months ago. Um, I think in May when I was there for my birthday. But um, yeah, I just, I get these stools and put it in here and just sit down and it's perfectly fine. Um, I do love the faux coin door as well. Now the new models that just came out have real molded on coin doors. The coin, uh, the coin slots don't work, but it's molded on and sticks out. So it looks a little more real, but I don't have a problem with this at all. Um, it's great. Here's rompers, which is, a uh, which these come with. Um, 
This one and the Ms. Pac-Man Arcade come with rompers, which I just really like. <laughs> it's a fun game. Um, it's, yeah, I've really gotten into it. It's a lot of fun. I like throwing these walls over and smashing all these people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a really fun game. I really like it. Um, didn't think I would. But as, you, as you can see, I've gotten up to 50,000 on this one. Um, the Ms. Pac-Man Arcade, I think I've even scored higher on. But you know, this game is all about strategy and I really like it. I've never played it before, as I said. Um, so, great idea for them to put a game on here that we've never heard of. <laughs> Most people haven't heard of it anyway. Um, it's, whoa, it's just a lot of fun to me, so. Um, and then, you you know, of, of course you have um, Galaxian, um, all the classics, you know, Galaga, um, just amazing. Um, I find a lot of replay value in this cabinet. I think it's great. Um, there are also two player options and um, have experimented with those much. But it's just a, you know, it's a great, it's probably my, my most favorite buy of all my RK1 cabinets I have. And I've got a few in here. Um, so I plan to go over all of these cabinets in detail like I am with this one and the Ms. Pac-Man and the Asteroids party cades last week. Um, I definitely want to go over all the games and how everything handles. But the joystick on this is awesome. Uh, doesn't feel chintzy, doesn't feel weird. It feels just like the arcade game. And I really like that. Um, so, um, yeah, the cabinet, as I said, is beautiful. Um, I love it. It's just, it's got a great design on the side. As you can see, it's a kind of see here. I, li I like the red molding on it, as I said. Um, just looks fantastic in probably any arcade, any home arcade. So let me know what you think down below, guys, if you would buy this or not. Um, I think it's a great buy. Um, I definitely would not take it back at all. Um, it's perfect. So um, let me know what you think. And thank you for tuning in for yet another arcade review, arcade cabinet review, arcade one-up cabinet review. And uh, this again is my copy cade. Um, plan to go over all of these in greater detail um, as we go on. I do have my lights off in here, so it's a little darker than usual. The, the LED lights can get really dark. I also plan to go over this one again um, as well in full detail. My Tron cabinet, I got this for my birthday this year. I freaking love this thing. It's just amazing. So be on the lookout for a full review of this um, in the very near future. Um, I think it's a great buy. I love the um, light up joystick. I love the, um, you have to have to turn this on actually. The, uh, if I can remember where it is, um, there's a little, switch there it is <laughs> so but yeah this is probably my favorite cabinet next to pac-man i just love it so um as i said um thank you for tuning in go get your java on and game on we'll see you next time bye